invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Confound the horrible man if he won't see sense. Perhaps we'll just have to show him. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Uh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? The statesman, because he's so great, thinks he's trade as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest employment, so is mine. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity, both against rogues and for them. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats. Since we live by him. He's seated in one of the boxes Sir, above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. And she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. I as already have. Very active and industrious. You may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, oh, I terrible. told him what would come to if he did not mend his hand. A thousand pardons. Uh, my apologies. I may venture to book him. Or Tom Gag. 40 pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. Or I can get more by her staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lot here than any five of the game. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the game take her off, she may, in the common course of business, leave her 12 months longer. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always lifts the end of the in his fly, because the brain of the game depends on him. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without a spirit, she is a fine woman, because you are always obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she hath trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Truly, Filch, thy observation is right. Ha! Know what I intend. Jeremy's well, really burning up the voice tonight. He's a bomb. 
think a penitence might break his spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, for it is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort. Would have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. This book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. 
Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. <laughs>